And transition. All right, we're live. Hello, TV audience. T TV audience? Hi, Mom. We're not on TV. No, just PC, unfortunately. Um, or Xbox, or PlayStation, or mobile. Or whatever you can install the Twitch app upon. Exactly. Which is a lot of things, actually. Or access the internet on. Yeah, like you you put in a book nowadays. You could. An yeah. Amazon Kindle Well, book actually, did you see thing. some guy put a, like, a little mini computer? He hollowed out a... Uh, he, got a he got a book. Like okay. a book book. Uh, and then he hollowed out the inside, put inside like a very small atom processor computer. Really? Uh, and a very tiny hmm. touch screen, which he embedded in the one page. So it's like an had. actual uh, Amazon. He used that, and, then, and then he installed Mist on it. Mist? The game? Yeah. So it was oh, like a cool. little linking book kind of thing, and you played the game in it. It was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. That's really cool. Actually. I know. I want to make one. Sloppy, what's up? Sloppy 15. Watching out his toaster. 15. Excellent. Is it a Nen toaster. toaster? There was another cool project I saw. I'm just going to nerd out for a bit here. Go for it. Um, so somebody took a toaster shell, took out all the internal toasty mm -hmm. bits, um, and then inside of that they put in the internals of an NES. Really? Yeah. And then so you... that the cartridge fits in one of the slots <laughs> and you push it down so to turn on the power. So you're playing on a toaster. Yeah, you just go... Like, and and the other on the toaster. other slot he put in like the connectors for the controllers hmm. and um, I think people. on the side he drilled in some holes for the the uh, who, who RCA jacks. Awesome people. Apparently. Yeah. So Apparently. yeah. So you can play Nintendo on your toaster now. That's pretty cool. It's the Nin toaster. Nin, Nin toaster. Yeah. Oh man. So. Anyways. So yes. Before we start, I do have an announcement really quick. No, it's just a regular toaster. So you can't place. toast things. Oh no. Darn. But you, you can, can stream Twitch. It's kind of like the when you've got the Xbox where the CD drive is broken, but mm -hmm. you still use it to stream. Yeah, use it to stream all your stuff. And you download just have games. to download games for the rest of eternity, which sucks because you go to the used game store and they're like 10 bucks, and instead you're paying 30 for them. Yeah. Well, decent yeah. compromise. So the announcement, before I forget. Um, Angel has applied to be a, a community mod. All right. And he is now a community mod. <gasps> So, Congrats, Angel. Angel, are, are you in chat? Are you in chat yet, or are you still streaming? Because you might still be streaming. I know we were hosting you a second ago. Okay, you're not in chat yet. But when you get in chat, if you say something, then you will become a community mod. So we have to wait until you connect so that I can mod you. But I will mod you on Discord since I have that right in front of me. Community oh, mod. look at that community mod Ooh. right there. And I will say... At uh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Where's uh, your keyboard? I have four keyboard, not four. I have three. The one, two, three. There you go. At, at everyone, everyone. Yeah, that's a that's an everyone kind of announcement. Welcome to wait. No, not what am I, I don't think welcome. Well, no. Can you not apply out. to be a tap dancing penguin? To, you know what? You don't have to apply to be one. If you are a tap dancing penguin trainer in your heart, then that's all that matters. Welcome our news at community mod at But if you want somebody to actually pay pay you to be a tap dancing penguin trainer, then yes you have to apply to uh, whatever places employ tap dancing penguin trainers. Alright. And there's our announcement. There we go. Angel's the new community mod. I was just like, somebody text me. Oh no, my my phone's going off because every time somebody discords at oh. everyone in the middle of the you night it goes off and Does I, it wake you up in the middle of the night? You know, I'm usually up that late anyway, but um, one of these days it will wake me up and mm -hmm. then I'll want to kill somebody. Well, you know, there's a little secret thing that you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm push sure to... I could tell it to, you know, shut up, but <laughs> who remembers to do that kind of thing? That's true. All right, in your heart, you're just a normie. You know what? Oh, it... it's Kanji. I forgot that your name was Sloppy. Sloppy15. This, this is Kanji. Kanji? Kanji. 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 Like the, like the Japanese characters? Probably. Okay. His Japanese characters in his name. And okay. his Steam name. Maybe. So, let's introduce yourself. Okay. You already said your name was David. I'm David. No, I don't think I did. I think at the beginning. Maybe. Hi, that. I'm David. <laughs> uh, I, am a, I am a programmer on the game, on and off, uh, kind of off right now, because um, I've been focusing more on IT work around here, which is what I do, so I support all of our programmers. Um, by, you know, keeping all the computers running, keeping software installed, keeping all that stuff going. Um, so, yeah, 
do what I can. Your Discord app's always exploding your phone 24-7. Yeah, I, I usually only when it, somebody it, makes an at thing that is everyone or mentions me, it explodes, so... I, you, you were saying, like, who has time to do that? I went through every single Discord server I'm on, and I, like, selectively... Yeah, probably on a lot more than I am. I'm only on ours, uh, so... 30. Oh, yeah, see, that would, yeah. then it would be going off constantly. I'd, so I'd, what happens when you, when you have to look at everybody's stuff? Yeah, no, yeah. I'd want to kill myself. Yeah, um, no, that's a lot. All right. Um, so, if you guys have questions before we get going... Please ask them. Please ask. I am here to answer all of your questions. But in the meantime, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you the first question that I okay. asked uh, Yen and uh, uh, Jeremy. All right. So, first off, what got you into IT, programming, all that? What got you into that stuff? What, what kind of... What were the kind of course of events that led up to that? Okie doke. Um, so, yeah, that all started when I was a lot littler, um, and we got our first computer, which was an old IBM machine, because my uncle worked there forever. So we had mm -hmm. one, a, a decent computer decently early on, back in the DOS era. Um, and, of course, I was young, and I wanted to play games on it. Um, so I had to learn all the DOS and all the kind of little technical bits that went into making games work, and then we got Windows 3.1. And uh, and then all the DOS games you had to learn to make work. So was, I started having to fiddle with stuff at an early age just to okay. make it work. And then, um, so I grew up in a household where video games were verboten, essentially. We were not allowed to play Very console important. games, so it was only whatever we could play on the computer. Uh, yeah, my parents were like, no, no consoles, just nothing. Totally against it. They just didn't want them in the house. That was pretty mm. much the rule. They're like, if you go to other people's houses yeah. and play them there, it's whatever, but we don't want them in our house. So. Sure. Um, so yeah, so I learned about a little thing called emulators, and mm. not to incriminate myself, but you can play video games on your computer with these things, in theory, and I might have, in theory, learned how to make them work, in which theory. sometimes was very technical process, and I always liked older DOS games too, so I'd mm. be trying to make things work. So from early age, I got used to tinkering with software to make things yeah, work. Yeah, emulators especially is a lot of... Uh... Sometimes a little bit, sometimes a little bit technical. Um, mm. They got better out. as the years went on. They got better um, and easier to use. But but yeah. early on, when you get into software, you got to figure out how to make it work on the system that you're working with. Um, well, those are all made by people who are like fans, not actual, not necessarily actual right. developers. But well, the emulators are are technically legal. It's just all mm. the ROM the files that you play on yeah. them that are copyrighted. And um, nowadays, luckily, I I collect video games so. Mm. I don't. I haven't had to emulate anything in years, um, and if I did, it would probably just be to stream it on PC. But the yeah. cool thing is, if you own an actual copy of the game, then you are allowed to download the ROM. Really? Yeah. So oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, because I I own a copy of all the games that I'd want to stream. It's like I could yeah put them on my computer and play them on there, and it would be perfectly within my legal rights, as far as I know. I'm not a mm. lawyer, so that's what I've heard. Yeah. But um, anyway, uh, I'm getting off topic here. Oh yeah, so I, I went to school, I took uh, technology classes, I got into A plus when I was in high school, mm -hmm. um, and then I uh, went to college f to be, uh, for computer science, got into programming, sure. um, learned about that for a while, didn't actually complete my degree, kind of got burnt out in programming because of a couple uh, bad, I don't want to say bad companies, companies that I interned at that were not, over oh, kind of tossing me stuff above my mm -hmm. level, so I never finished my degree. Um, did some other stuff when I came sure. here. We were working on a game, um, and I, I wanted to get in on that. So I, I hopped in and started programming the minibots. And, Sweet. Um, yeah, for a while I was I was about, it was, it was was I was the only programmer mm. <laughs> working on it. Um, we had all our yeah, artists, obviously. Um, well, uh, Jeremy at the time was, was not really a programmer. He was still picking it up. He was learning mm. it, so. Yeah, well, I always forget he's an artist first. Before yeah, he, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Program. Confirmed by our resident lawyer, David. <laughs> Angel! Hi, David. Put shoe on head. Before we continue, really quick, Angel, I'm going to mod you. Slash mod. Nope, can't mod it here because I'm on the wrong computer. And I just switched the scene. <laughs> Where is the mouse? Transition, there we go. Uh, where's... Do, do we need to, to put sticky notes you know on your keyboards and label them? I need to go over here really quick. Okay, Eric's, Eric is <laughs> thereby mod. dubbing Angel, we dub you a moderator. Alright. Yep, see, I... And rise 
Sir <laughs> Angel. Ban everyone, only viewer. <laughs> <laughs> you should be a mod now. Can I program your toaster to toast things? It should already have that programming in it. Uh, you have to buy a new lever. It's That's a hardware fault. Um, and so, therefore, not my problem. See, I'm already I'm there a great you programmer. You just you just I know how to pass the buck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, green sword! I told you it broke. Yeah, th yeah, that's hardware. Uh, uh, let's see, what up, son? That's a new. Okay, that's all, Angel. Ooh, green sword! I think somebody told me to put my shoe on my head. Yeah, that was uh, that was Kanji. Wow, yeah. fire this guy! <laughs> Actually, the chat is over my face, isn't it? Is That's it over funny. your face? I'm, I'm okay with this. You're just going to have words in front of your... Yeah, I'm the word man. Your TV has words on it. <laughs> has words. I right. could... I could Home Star Runner you. quotes. It's Home all going to be... Home Star Runner. What is this? If you don't love Home Star Runner, you had a sad childhood. I, you know, honestly, I was too young to even remember Home Star Runner. I, I, I forget that there's a very, like... Yeah, now, now I feel old. Put the chat over David's face until I fixed my toaster. You know what? Bring your toaster out of my house. I'll fix your... Flipping toaster. Need a toaster flip? Or you could, you know, buy a new toaster for like there we go. ten bucks. Now the chat's not over my face. Shipping. Actually, I think I have a spare toaster at my house that I was going to convert into a Nintendo. Really? Yeah, because I've actually got... Oh, um, are you actually going to do that as a project now? Yeah, no, I've got uh, two NESs right now, and mm -hmm. one of them, the case is kind of cracked and damaged and warped out, so I could probably just pop it open, pull out the internals. Speaking of consoles Put and games, toaster. Yes. how many consoles and how many games? Uh, because I know you have a lot. So consoles right now, I am at 12, I believe. Let's see, hold on. That is on my NES, Super NES, uh, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, Atari 2600, <laughs> uh, Sega Genesis, and Sega Dreamcast. That makes 13. That's a lot of consoles. So I'm at 13 because um, my PS4 got stolen, so I need to buy a new one. Yeah, get a new one. Uh, and then I've got uh, 3DS and uh, Game Boy SP. And I don't have a Vita anymore because that got stolen too. Darn. I know. It sucks when people take your things and... They only took the Sony stuff. What's that? I, well, no, they took a, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh. I just, the, I guess the, mm -hmm. the police were able to recover everything but the Sony stuff, so maybe hmm. they were able to turn those around real quick and sell them or something. I don't know. Yeah, somebody shady. Say la vie. Say la vie. And how many games would you say you have? Because I know you have... How many lot of games, games would I... You know what? I made a list a while back. I think it came in at something like in the low 300s. Really? Seems like you have more than that. Well, that's physical. Stop stealing from Taman. Stop stealing from I, I appreciate that. Please. My um, name card. That's my IT one. The other one's right side up. Uh... Yeah, some like 300 physical games, mm -hmm. and then on Steam I've got like 700. Seven. That's not counting digital. Digital, I've got a whole... Digital is ridiculous. ...bunch of them, too. Um, thanks to Humble Bundle, I now have a ridiculous mm -hmm. amount of Steam games. That thing is bad for you. Yeah, the Humble Bundle's money sink right there. Yeah, well, it's like, I only paid five bucks for these, but I'm never going to play them because I don't have time to play all the games that I have. That's, that's, yeah, that's kind of what sucks I, I feel like the, the transition from childhood to adulthood is as a kid, you have, like not enough money to pay for games but all the mm. time in the world to play them and as an adult you have it's money to opposite. pay for all the games you want but no time to play all the games you have yeah. well i I've, at this point like with me I'm, I'm like starting to become a collector i hardly even play half my games <laughs> i've played a good chunk of them some of them in the past and i and i get them i buy them again humble bundle is a very bad, very bad place um i i'll buy them again because i remember them fondly as a child and sometimes i'll go back and play them sometimes i i don't i keep them for other people to come play because I, mm. I you know like oh hold on uh david can you play by putting shoe on head can positively affect your down payments on your car insurance well that's a very good question um so when you put your shoe on your head when you're talking to the people for your car insurance generally they're willing to do anything you say like lowering your rates uh because they think you're crazy and might assault them if they say something to upset you. Basically, it's the fear factor is yeah. what comes in. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, which somehow involves like eating bugs or something. I don't know. So, something fear factor. Like that. Yeah. 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 
Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Gosh. <laughs> You're uh, very welcome. Revlobot is now no. online. Yeah, guys, we added Revlobot, by the way. That's the other announcement that I mentioned in Discord but forgot to mention on stream is Revlobot's now here. we got to add more rewards. So if you have ideas for rewards, yeah. aside from anything illegal and anything that involves nudity. <laughs> I will put a shoe on my head. Oh, you know, I should probably launch Revlobot, too. That's that would be a problem. Yeah, so when people so we're not we're just gonna get spammed with <laughs> exclamation points. There we go. Revlobot is tracking loyalty. There you go, Angel. Eric nudes for ten points. Uh, no, that's gonna be about seven actually. Who would we just make points. a mod again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be him. <laughs> oh good. Oh boy. I can tell this is gonna oh, this boy. is gonna go well for our community. Ten points. That's like nothing. That's ten minutes. Well, I mean, are they worth? I mean, I, I, I feel like you're worth more than that. <laughs> Sloppy yeah. got him. Kanji, you're not supposed to talk about that. <laughs> Come chat with us in our community on our Angry Skull Discord server. Yes. Hashtag best mod. Best mod 2017. Mm, quite. Mm. Quite so. Quite so. Um, all right. Uh, I think I, did I answer your question about how I yeah. became a programmer? Yeah. So, um, and I haven't been okay. doing as much lately, but that's because uh, the IT side has been keeping me oh. busy. We have the mole question. The mole question. That's right. Angel had a had a question for... So, let's see. What, what, what was the question? It was, uh, I believe, how many atoms here we go. in three moles of hydrogen peroxide. So, I atoms. did the math, and it looks like hydrogen peroxides uh, got four atoms to a molecule, and it's three... Moles worth of that, which when you multiply it by Avogadro's number, gets us 7.2264 times 10 to the 24th atoms. It's a lot of atoms. It's a lot of atoms. It's a lot of atoms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very uh, but there you go. interesting chemistry question. Yeah, there you go. Angel. I, that was cool. I was just like, oh, man, it's like I'm back in AP Chem. <laughs> you guys. Learn you guys in your the... science classes. Yeah. And Alex loves his physics. Alex does love his physics. I've cleared Chem 101. Clem, cl Chem. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, next question. Next question. One of the other questions I asked those guys earlier was, what was their favorite... Well, two, two parts. You're not what making is, me feel special. You're just like... Use all these I told used, you it was going to be generic. Used questions <laughs> that I've already used in other people because I can't come up with anything cool. Well, they got to come up with the I'm, questions. Yeah, I know. Well, but, um, they, they've got to be the ones to, to to bring it home. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just giving you crap. Oh, I know. All right. I'm eating it. <laughs> you can now make some medicinal items in games. I don't think I've ever had to use Avogadro's number to craft anything in a video game, but you never know. I don't know any drugs in video games. That... Grab and peel. Okay, new question. All right, what's your question? Oh yeah, so hit me. What 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 uh, what are it's a two part question. What's your favorite current game? And the Ooh. second part is what is your favorite retro old older game like pre two thousands? How how recent would you say for current? Like current, current generation, like um, within the past three four years. Okey doke. Um. The last game that I really latched onto and chased down with a vengeance was probably Bloodborne. Bloodborne. That one was okay. fantastic. However, oh, Dark Souls Bloodborne, or yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever play that one? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so good. Is it good? It's so good. Um, is it a DLC or is it a separate game? It's a whole game. It's, oh, it's, it's a whole game in a whole universe. Um, but it's within the Dark Souls universe? No, no, it's not. It's by the oh. same developers and mm -hmm. uh, some of the stylistic elements in the gameplay-wise, but the thing I like about it as compared to... I played Demon's Souls, um, and it kind of... The game was very turtly. It was very much your enemies are the ones mm -hmm. who um, lead the combat by you can only attack when they provide an opening and that kind of thing. And then what mm. I appreciated most about Bloodborne was you're the one who makes the opening and you're the one who drives the pace of the combat. Um, you're, I mean, you still have to dodge. You still have to get out of the way when they're winding up a big attack and stuff like that and recognize the patterns. That's pretty similar. But um, it's, it's, it's very similar, except it's more you're driving the pace of combat and you're the one attacking and, and flowing and doing all this stuff around them. Okay. Um, and it really made it more interesting and a little bit more fast-paced, which I didn't mm -hmm. like the amount that I had to, to hide behind a shield. 
Yeah. Uh, and they literally make fun kind of, of forces you to move hiding behind a shield in that game oh, really? because you never do it. And they give mm. you a shield item, and it's like, yeah, people usually the weaker people hide behind these, like in the oh, item gosh. description. It's hilarious. I'm like, okay, yeah, no, that's that's what, what I want. I want to be out there with a fantastic. giant axe, just wrecking things, just destroying things, shrecking them. Um, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, what is the secret of Eric's hairstyle? I wake up, I take a shower, and I do nothing to my hair. That nice. Is, that is the secret to my hairstyle. Literally nothing. Well, there we go. <laughs> now I'm asking you questions. Yeah, there you go. There's that's uh, my question. How many times do you think you may put shoe on head? Hmm. You elaborate shoe on head methods and possibly what shoe is going on head. I would say I would probably stick to the left. The left shoe? Left shoe. Okay. Um, and the meth- best method is just to really just get it up there as quickly as possible and leave it there. Okay. Uh, okay. How many times a day? As many as it takes. As many as it takes. Uh, Kerbal Space Program. I haven't played that one. It looked really interesting, um, but I I tend to play more narrative-driven games. I it does that one. I think that might have a narrative. Uh, like a series of challenges not, you have to make to get... I don't oh, know. Well, maybe. Yeah, I've not played I'm it. I'm not so really I sure. Know. I haven't played it either, but um, I know people who are super into it. Um, I know Arma 3. I've pulled out my calculator for that game. Oh, you want to know my... like, artillery. Favorite retro game. Yeah, game. retro game. What's um, favorite retro although game? Although, I, I do have to, I do have to caveat um, that I've been playing both Witcher 3 and Breath of the Wild mm-hmm. uh, oh, yeah. lately, and those are both fantastic, too, and they mm-hmm. may be contenders, but I won't know until I finish them. Ah, okay. Um, Breath of the Wild... Kind of is amazing. Is it so good? I, I've heard a lot of good about it. Have you not seen it? I've never played it. But have you seen it? Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I've, I know I've brought in my Switch a couple times. Yeah, I've I've seen some people play it. And I've seen like videos and stuff, but never played it myself. You demonstrate the act of putting shoe on head. He really is is locked onto this whole me putting my shoe on the my shoe head. on head is his goal. Is his goal? That is his goal. Is your shoe or somebody's <laughs> shoe on a head, preferably yours. Okay. Talking Tom or Talking Angelina, which is better? I don't know what that is. Oh, I think, is that the cats? The talking cat thing? Like it's the cat with the high-pitched voice that talks? I got nothing. I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe. Uh, Which is better? I don't know what those are, so uh, I will probably have to look them up later. Um, Favorite? Eric does know his stuff. (laughs) <laughs> Apparently it's cats. So I was right. It's cat videos it's, on the internet. It's it's like a CGI cat. I haven't cat seen that all of the cat you. videos on the internet because that's impossible. You will be dead before you see them all. There's too many. Um, There's favorite retro game. Everything. That's tough. Um, oh, I want to say there's a few that are definitely at the the tippity tippity top of the list um psychonauts was an example that i pull out as one of my favorite games of all time a lot of the time um i just had something else in my head that i was trying to think of Mega Man x mm-hmm. one of the top games of all time um probably i we mentioned we mentioned maybe starting another twitch stream yes with with me uh showing off some of the games that i love because i have pretty crazy setup at home um, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that, that maybe I don't. I don't know if I could do it here in the office. But mm. I, I might try to bring in some stuff. But essentially, I've got all my consoles hooked up to one central thing, which I run through a capture card. Uh, you probably don't need to hear about my Twitch setup. Um, but it, it lets me. It lets me stream and capture games like that. And so I run a lot of really cool. run some retro games on there. Um, been trying to put together a YouTube channel with a friend, but I'm not gonna market it here because we don't have any content up yet. <laughs> no content. Yet. When I do have content, but when you do, I will absolutely buzz market have it a here. Platform. Mm-hmm. Platform. Um, platform. I platformers. I love not, platformers. Not platform. I love platformers. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, Psychonauts and Mega Man X are the two that I'm thinking of at the top of my head. So. Okay. Um, it's hard to pick a favorite that's like picking one of my children's. One of your children. If I was stuck on an island with Eric and Jeremy, who would I eat first? Hmm. It's a tough one. That is a really tough one. Um, but, but is it, though? No, it'd probably be pretty tender and juicy. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Oh, cannibalism. I'll just go over here. <laughs> Relax. We're not stuck on an island. Not yet. Um, who would I eat first? I would. I would uh, tie them together to form a raft. 
Oh. Uh, I would not waste valuable raft building materials by, by eating them because I would yeah. need to get off the island first. What if the sharks come and eat us? Well, that's fine. That's that's why I've got both of you la- rafted together. So if the oh, sharks okay. eat one of you, I've still got one person to kind of... To live <laughs> Smart. Smart. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that's not bad. That's not yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah. You got any more of those, Angel? Got any yeah, more of them? Yeah, just lay them on me. Them, them witty questions? Um, if not, I'll have to resort to putting shoes on my head to make uh, Sloppy happy. Man, would would that make Sloppy happy? Sloppy, would you ask Kanji? Would you ask a real amazing question? If, if it's you put if his it's shoe? that good, then I will I will put the shoe on the head. We'll 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 make that a Revlobot reward. Shoe on head, hundred points. There you go. That's only hundred minutes of watching. Put I'm, shoe on put head. Put shoe on head. Don't put All right, pressure Tyler, give on me, me. Give me a real good, insightful question, um, and then I will I will put the shoe on the head and also answer it. So that's oh. like two for one right there. Two for one. Yeah. I will ask a, a next, next level, level question, question for shoe, shoe on head. head. Do it. Oh no, do the question first, and then the shoe. What Your the question will be judged. Points. Uh, points are earned for being active in chat. You get one point every minute for being in chat. There that's the only way you can earn points at the moment. But are we working on other ways? Like We may add other ways. Can I bribe someone? Yes, actually you could. You could bribe somebody. Please send checks. Uh, uh, care to... Easter on 123 at gmail.com <laughs> I accept Bitcoin and PayPal. <clears throat> or just cash. Or cash. Slip cash under the... Uh, the just send me send door. me send me knives on CS:GO, some pretty four hundred dollar knives. <laughs> uh, but yes, you, you can earn points by staying in chat. Yes, or, or, or buy I'll... buy David a PS4 or a Vita. <laughs> well, well, what do, do I think about, about ransomware? ransomware? Uh, I oh, installed a, a good topic. amount of ransomware uh, due to working in IT, and I think it's pretty darn clever on on the part of the criminals who are pretty much putting this stuff out there uh to to essentially monetize what used to just kind of cause destruction which was all this virus stuff mm-hmm. and malware um yeah no that now they're making money off of their victims which is honestly that's a so so smart yes it really I, is. I mean it's horrible i no, it's it's, it's, it's criminal activity and it's a terrible thing to do but i i have to admire the audacity and cleverness of it all to just go yeah we're, we've encrypted your files and, and you have to give us money to get them back and yeah. sometimes you don't even get them back after you pay them the ransom which is why we don't advise it yeah um but i think i think there have been like major corporations and government agencies who've gotten uh can you play the difficulties of going back and forth between developing an it work for people who may be interested in this field of work that's actually a really good question okay i'm gonna answer that and then and then chew on head and then chew on head. <laughs> uh can i explain the difficulties of going back and forth well um so for for a while i was doing both um i'd have a, a few days dedicated to programming and the rest of doing it work um uh, essentially, we've got multiple IT people working here, so it wasn't that hard. I had uh, clients that I'd have scheduled days at that I'd go out and, and take care of their stuff. And um, and then I'd be in the office for the rest of the week. Uh, the problem was, uh, I one, one of the big problems, and, and that might just be here, but I was on a rather 8 to 5 schedule because the IT work mm. requires me to be active during business hours. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd come in for programming days, and those guys tend to roll in a little later and work a little later. So I would be here Busy, when the like rest of the group day. wasn't there. And um, when you're when you're working with a small team like the Minibots team, you really want to be able to talk to each other and kind of get an idea of stuff. Um, and there's there's software that we had going and, and, and project management stuff we had going that would let us kind of keep track of what tasks we had. Um, but it really you want to be able to talk to your fellow developers and kind of figure out, you know, what are the pressing needs for the day? What are we working on? Where, where are the bugs that we need to stamp out? Because that was always kind of what I was best at was um, taking care of the bugs uh, and doing basic, like, back-end game engine stuff. Um, a lot of the, a, a decent amount of the backbone of the game um, was written by me. Um, a lot of the, the class we use for management and stuff like that. Um, so it's, if I was talking about the, uh, for people who may be interested in this field. Yeah, so it's a, a lot of... There, I don't think there's a lot of call for people going to both, although you will learn some basic programming, doing IT, um, especially scripting stuff, a lot of PowerShell, mm-hmm. a lot of that sort of thing. And then uh, development, you'll naturally... 
I, you're not forced to learn IT work. I've actually met a lot of developers who, who don't know which end of a mouse is up, which is a little terrifying to me. Um, but for the most part, you'll learn to be good with computers because you're writing code uh, for software. So, yeah, it's... it's um, a lot of the times, IT pays the bills because you're getting paid by clients. Uh, software development is kind of a long haul sort of process. You you put a lot of money into it and you don't get the, uh, essentially you don't get paid for it until you're done. So um, that's that's some of the reason why we're, as, as a company, we've got both, both businesses going because the IT work, you know, you go in, you put in your hours, you get a paycheck from the client. Uh, and then the development is like, you know, you, you put in, we've put in months and, and months of work and, you know, until you're up on Steam or until you've got some way to, to run a kick. That's why a lot of people have Kickstarters. So they can get paid beforehand and they can get, get the money it takes to go in because it's a big investment. It is a huge investment. Um, and luckily I'm not the one essentially paying for it all because, mm -hmm. uh, that's a hard job. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Very why we job. total respect to the boss here. Um, okay. And then, uh, let's see, I'm oh. stuck in an island, and also... Nightbot loves to spam. And and then I was promised. Shoot. Oh, yep, there you go. Kanji, we got we got your shoe on, on head for you. <laughs> oh, boy. It doesn't want to stay. All right, if I was stuck in an island with an internet network, but I scam and if I would answer, I'd become a multi person on an island. Are you goody good pants to be evil? Um... Mm, I'm more chaotic good, really, uh, so I would probably, I made, I made a strange person on the internet very happy today, <laughs> I can add that to my list of accomplishments, uh, there you go. yeah, no, I don't, if I was stuck in an island with an internet network, I don't think I would scare people with ransomware, I would uh, have them pay me to maintain the network because that seems like a more honest way to keep a steady source of income because eventually, you know, your ransomware's people get used to where they don't want to pay. Mm -hmm. So, no, I think I would not become... I don't want to be the wealthiest person on the island anyway. You know, more money, more problems as long as I've got enough money to buy coconuts. Well, how big is this island? I, I could probably just walk outside and pick coconuts, honestly. Like, that's the more I would think, organic well, I mean, way I'm to do things. like a super small island. Like... That you can walk across easily. Well, he's mentioning multiple people on this island, so and and you know, so clearly there's there's also a 